What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well today we're going to go ahead and talk about a big misconception that comes up a lot with new miners and that is a uh, I'm supposed to be making this per day why am I making significantly less and the big reason that comes down to that is really the fact that people don't calculate in their electricity cost they don't determine what their entire rig costs for electricity and only look at a card level or look at Hive OS. And finally, they're looking at Hive OS or looking in Windows at what the miner says the hash rate is, and they're not looking at what the pool says. So we're gonna go ahead and use our test rig today. We always use this test rig. This is an EVGA GeForce RTX 3060. This is the nerfed version, which is the version one. I've gone ahead and removed it from our uh, 240 volt uh, PDU and I've plugged it into our traditional 120 and we're going over to a voltage meter. So what, I, oh gosh, I banged it, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys right now, it says our total watts is 176, 177 watts. Keep that in mind because that's gonna be super important. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and we're gonna go ahead and discuss, as I said, what does the pool say that we're making in a 24 hour period? What does our, our voltage meter say that our rig is costing us in electricity? And are we calculating in our electricity cost? If you are not doing all three of these, you are not accurately determining your daily, monthly, and yearly profits. So we've gone ahead and jumped into Hive OS here. We're looking at my farm currently. And let's go ahead and take a look at that Banshee rig. So the Banshee rig is our test bench there. It's the old HP uh, motherboard uh, with the one GPU plugged directly into the X16 slot. So our GeForce RTX 3060, it's doing 22.32 mega hash on Ravencoin currently. I've been bouncing this thing around as you guys can see there on the different algorithms. And HiveOS says it's doing 140 watts. So traditionally, as a miner and a newer miner, and, and I'm guilty of this 1000%, you'd come over and go to what to mine and you'd go, okay, I have a 3060 and it says that I should be getting 22. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hash rate in here. I'm gonna go ahead and say 22.32. And Hive OS says I'm making, okay, wow, look at that, 140 on the dot, okay? And over here under cost, I'm keeping it at zero. Well, reality check here. We need to be as accurate as possible. So you need to check your electric bill and you need to add up your generation, distribution, and um, everything, all the cost in there. It'll all be in cents. So for me, it's 11 cents total. 11 cents per kilowatt hour total for me. I need, And that's gotta be 100% accurate because this is critical, guys, when you're looking at these things. So let's say we didn't put that in, okay? We left it blank because we're naive, we're not thinking about it, or we're just new and we're not considering it. And we hit calculate. So we look at Ravencoin, okay? Man, Ravencoin looks good. It's it's telling me I make $2.81 a day. So if I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm just kind of mocking like this new miner mentality here. And guess what, guys? I still consider myself new. I started in February. I'm still a newbie. So let's say we were going to go ahead and figure out, okay, every week I'm going to cash out my Ravencoin. It's $19.66 or every month, $84.26. Okay. You're new, I was you. This is the wrong way to determine your profitability. So you have to ask yourself, are you calculating your profitability wrong? Most people are gonna go, yeah, you're right. The other, so there's a few things to look at, the hash rate, the power, and your electricity cost. So let's rewind and let's do this over in a little bit different of a way that is going to be more accurate and give you more detailed information. So first off, our cost. 
we need to make sure we're putting an electricity cost, 11 cents, okay? Now let's go over here to our watts. Well, it's not 140. That entire rig is draining 177 watts. Now, if you have, what you can do is come in here and put the whole rig. Let's say you have a six GPU rig. Put the whole rig in here, whatever that is, and the whole rig for the hash rate. That's fine. No problem. You're doing it right. Now, when it comes down to the hash rate, what HiveOS is saying at the very second that you're checking what you're getting is not what you want to use. You need to find an average, not what is in here. And no, don't keep a spreadsheet and log in every hour and see what you're getting. Now, I just swapped this over to Ravencoin for this example purpose, but I'm going to go to a rig that's been mining for more than 24 hours. You really can't get your average until you've mined for 24 hours. So, let me go back to my rigs and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm going to come into our Gambit rig here. One of these cards is a little toasty right now. And this is when I'm mining um, nonstop for, it looks like uptime, two days, six hours. I got to stop playing with these things. But we have a 24-hour period on this, which is good, which is good to know. So what we need to do is we need to determine what our average hash rate is on the pool level is what we need to find out. So what we need to do is we need to go to Hive On because that is exactly where we're actually mining our uh, Ethereum at. And actually, let me take this a step further. Better, better solution. Let's go. No, this is fine. We'll stick with this. I'm all over the place. Watch out. So let's go to Hive On here. Okay. Okay, great. So now I'm going to bring up my wallet here and this is an example of what you guys will look at when you come in. So if you take a look here, I came into Hivon. Now you could do this on any pool. If you're using two miners, you're using minerpool.org, go to the pool and find your miner. If you have one rig, if you have 10 rigs, find your miner, which is Gambit, and you need to look at your average hash rate. Now the best number I love to look at is like a 24 hour time period, but average hash rate's perfect, that's fine. So average hash rate, 163.27. So if I go 163.27, if I go to that rig this very second, 162.80. So it's pretty close, but you want to take the average as to what the pool is seeing. So always take your number of what the pool is saying is your average or your 24 hour average and input that here at the hash rate level. Don't use what you see on the card level, completely ignoring everything else. My room's getting really warm in there. I turned off the fan so I could record the video. So that's why you guys are seeing like these temperature alerts. So for all intents and purposes, let's say the pool says 22.37, okay? So we're gonna come in here, 22.37. So now what we've done is we've taken our pools average, 22.37, all intents and purposes. We're taking what it's seeing at the wall, 177 watts, and we're taking electricity cost and we're hitting calculate. Well, now we're getting a little bit better of a picture as to what this is going to make per day. So now we're truly down to $2.34. A week, $16.41 and a month, $70.31. This down here beforehand was $84. So you're almost your $13 and 70 some cents difference between the two of the original example we gave and this example pulling this more accurate information, which is, I think, critical when you're trying to look at, at what you're making. And I don't want mining to be a turnoff to you as a miner when you're stepping into the space because what you think you're going to make and then what you actually make are totally different numbers. So hopefully this was helpful. That voltage meter you saw there, guys, is like 20 bucks and it's on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. It's called a kilowatt meter. It's, it's super, super well-known in the mining industry. Everybody and their brother uses it. Some PSAs though, okay? Do not keep that plugged into your rig all the time. It is meant for one-off situations like this and then we unplug it, we put it in our drawer and we plug everything back into the wall. Second, 
do not go over 1800 watts on that meter it will kill the meter it is not it, it can't handle more than 1800 watts i know that because i put a 12 gpu uh rx 470 rig on it mining raven coin that was doing 2200 watts and it killed that voltage meter not as crazy as what you saw with uh brandon coin and his like burning up it just, mine just stopped working so not as exciting but also a lot safer anyways guys hopefully this was helpful to you guys if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and finally don't forget to subscribe take care